in this session we'll see why we require idoc okay so you told that this is the communication technology in between two, two systems and why we should require this one i will explain you now okay in another few minutes if you see data transfer systems what is data data can be like your, your sales order data purchase order data or material master data let's take an example simple example you are you are creating one material one retail material in retail system okay because you required price information let's assume it won't happen i'm telling you required a price information from another retail system or also outside system outside sap system you know is retail your sap system right so when you create a material here okay so that material supposed to be get communicated with other system to get the price and it need to create a condition record in our retail system for example you take okay carberry chocolate okay 10 grams that chocolate 10 grams a small chocolate for that it should be created some 10 cents or 15 cents or else 1 euro or 10 rupees so then your retail system is sap system what it is going to do is so like um, it supposed to pick the it 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 will send the it's always sender receiver communication okay the sender is your retail system and and for example it is just take try to understand sender is your retail system and receiver is your ecc system let's take an example okay you are sending material to ecc system assume that that is actual business system this you are using for um, what do you call uh, for creating materials and other stuff okay retail relevant stuff so when this material supposed to be automatically transferred to other system either you have to use generally lsmw uh, download or something like that but it won't happen automatically okay so such a case what you have to do is you have to build the communication between two systems when i send my material they will call in retail system article that data is will be captured in the form of certain sections certain fields the data will be pushed to other system so then you should required to communicate two systems before generating a, either it idoc or else any other technology http or fc call or any other technology don't get into the details you try to understand simply if two systems supposed to communicate okay the data need to be captured by one system then data will be send to receiver system sometimes from sender system only you have a call from receiver system the data will be captured okay your receiver can be sap system or non sap system that will be captured and it will be you know stored in source system okay either from source system to receiver system one way communication sending the data and receiving the from receiver system to source system that is receiving communication either sender communication or receiving confirmation sending information or seeking information for this you required idoc so like you know when you are doing practice either your material management or if you go for your sales order cycle or finance account receivable and account payable there are the multiple places you required a data transfer from one place to another place okay so i have seen the scenarios within the system also we can able to generate i doc the technology must be needed for data transfer to automate the system okay so you can pick the information you can for example you are sitting now in india one system you are operating for your retail product called carberry but this product information is available prices and quantities and you know the uh, fluctuations and price changes okay the product relevant 
description and everything information is available in the us somewhere in the server okay when in india if i want it it automatically convert into the from us dollar to inr the price change the quantity based on our unit of measurement here we will call it as a piece or pack or something maybe us they will call it as the weight will be in lbs or something like that such a case what happens so this sap system need to communicate other so the indian sap system need to communicate other us non sap system or else sap system such a case the information need to be captured at one place the information need to be captured at one place that we will call it as a idoc so the request signal is going from one system to another system to communicate and the required information it is pulled back and it will be stored in the form of one layer that is called idoc okay that's why we require idoc data transfer systems you see this this the world itself it is so powerful when you are transferring the data or else when you try to receive some data such a case is required let's try to see a small example if you see this the communication where and all how it happens for example if you see this one sap system this is the communication between sap to sap okay when you have a communication between sap to sap so idoc will be generated for example you are sending certain material master data this is okay that data will be captured and uh, it will be sent to here okay when the data transfer for your material master or customer or vendor when you are transferring from this system this system is called source okay you try to understand this system is called source system this system is called target system when you see this arrow i have represented inbound and outbound for example you are sending a data of your material master from here to here okay uh, like you know to materials and uh, what you call the certain information related to quantities and prices you are sending and uh, in your target system from where from there you would like to seek the information in the form of like order confirmation probably i can simply call it as all materials available and quantities available and uams available everything is available here but specifically the system i am using to read product hierarchy hierarchy level of the hierarchy and to read the prices such case also i can use idoc idoc i can use i mean data seeking i can do in simple manner and complex manner it depends there is nothing to fear being a functional consultant you try to understand i am just trying to bring up to the level where you can understand theoretical and practically that's why i am just made these slides with with this much effort okay so uh, so like you know when uh, inbound and outbound will be there inbound means like you know if you are from target system will become like a source system so this will become like your target system such a case the communication if you are seeking information that is inbound suppose from this system you are sending assume that this system a from this system if you are sending information to this system this will become like a source system from this system you are pulling outside the data then that is outbound you try to understand throughout this session cycle if you don't understand this terminology then it is very very difficult to capture okay this system is assume source system this system is assume target system when you are pushing data when you are pushing data to this system this is outbound that means the data is living and forming in the form of a early idoc and it is going to reach your sap system okay inbound like when you are receiving from this system to this system then it will become like inbound the similar technology can be adapted to create an idoc and send information with additional technology to communicate this one is non sap system okay so here you can use early idoc because both simply if i can say this this system know english language this system knows english language 
so then the communication in between it's made it easy you required the translator is mere purpose not that much with perfection to do the job whereas if you come here sap system here it is non sap system okay non sap system can be your microsoft excel system or else any third party inventory system or else it can be like um, any other this is i have seen in my projects sap to sap sap to non sap sap to uh, i mean salesforce to sap like you know different technologies will be there okay when you say this don't try to complicate with examples try to understand so either communication between sap system to sap system such a case you will have either inbound or outbound sometimes you will have both inbound and outbound for example you are sending material from there for example you are sending sap system from this system you are sending a material with only basic 1 and basic 2 data okay here in this system okay here in this system you are trying to create okay so like your sales org 1 sales org 2 sales org 3 and you have mrp 1 and mrp 2 mrp 3 and sales text and your purchase text and purchase tabs everything will be created in this system okay so just you are sending only basic data assume that this is whole system in their practice okay so that you know material idoc will be created so material information will be captured in the form of idoc technology and that idoc will communicate with this system to transfer the system so i'm just telling material example it can be anything it can be customer or vendor or else purchase order or sales order it can be anything okay then it, it similar scenario idoc will be created so once idoc created in sap system the information is ready the information how it will be communicated with middleware okay so if it is sap sap sometimes it it has chances to directly can understand the communication with ale technology or idoc technology but whereas idoc generated but idoc in which format it supposed to generate that we will see in another few minutes okay so so now you try to understand only one thing so why idoc means it is for data transfer it is always between sap system to sap system sap system to non sap system non sap system to sap system or if you take from this direction sap so this inbound will call it as a direction outbound is called direction inbound means incoming receiving information outbound means pushing the data both cases inbound and outbound is the same okay when in term, when when we when you try to channelize when you try to push the information from this system to that system from that system to this system if you are seeking information the channelization terminology is same inbound and outbound you remember this this is source and target or else this is source or this is target sometimes when i am sending in when i am receiving the data inbound means this is source system inbound means for this this is source system and this is target system when i am pushing information from this system this will become outbound and this will become target system similar way it will applicable for your sap to non sap or non sap to sap communication in this case also when you are pushing information for outbound okay this will become like a source outbound is pushing the data to target either it can be like you know source target communication single way or else target versus source also communication will be there both ways will be there vice versa will be there or else single most of the times um, single channel will be there in uh, your transactional process but you cannot uh, uh, dictate like this your systems will work like that only it is either way it will work okay i think you th this session you understood something better for your basics what exactly data transfer system what is this sap system to sap system and sap to non sap system let's try to understand to create a communication from sap to sap system and if you possible we'll try to create some example we cannot exactly find the idoc creation for non sap system but i will try to show something else okay so in previous session you understand what is idoc and in this session you understood why idoc 
in SAP system, what is source system and what is target system? What is the different way of communications you have? And we're going to we're going to slowly getting into the depth of IDOC slowly. Okay, let's catch up next session. Thank you so much. I wish you all the best. Have a great time.